continues the second game between the two as the SEC on ESPN brings you our Thursday night showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. And it's all part of Judgment Week presented by Miller Lite, our matchup South Carolina and Kentucky. And as you take a look at the SEC East standings coming in up to the moment, it does not include Vanderbilt and Georgia because that game's in the final seconds. Georgia has the lead. We'll bring you the final as soon as possible. But Kentucky alone on top. If Vandy loses and Kentucky wins tonight, they've got at least a share of their 44th SEC crown. Brent Roth, Roethlisberger in the house. Big Ben here to watch. Magic Johnson's here. We've got 24,000 plus of our closest friends here. And coming off two double-doubles his last two games in a row. Prior to that, his last double-double was December 23rd. And he's become a three-point machine. He hit That's his 20th of the year. In the man, playing it very soft. Cousins picks up the loose ball and takes it strong and one. I think there is no doubt that they're going to face Kentucky's A game tonight. Take a look at his strength right here. Super strong. They don't have an answer for him on the interior. I don't know if anybody has here. Well, they might have one down in Kansas, but in the cold that would be a heck of a match. Oh, I think it's going their way early. Down he tried to leave it in the lane, threw it away, and now here comes Wall against Rayleigh Ross. Oh, what a sensational play. Brings a big smile from Irvin Magic Johnson, who told me before the game the reason I love the kid. He said he's great at winning time. Kentucky winning every loose ball, and right now out routing the game. Got to get a little stronger physically, but a good athlete on the inside. Cousins. Patterson cleans up on it. That's where they really have such an advantage. They need the nation to rebound it. Cousins. Ball comes free to Miller. Well, he got the ball to Bledsoe somehow between two game packs. Gets it back, takes a three, and drains it. And a hook comes to play in time. That was a shot. I look like mine. <laughs> Baseline jumper goes for DeAndre Liggins. Home, it came out. He earned his play in time in practice. It's the pass to Cousins who oh. rattles around and rattles at home. Are you serious? I turn around and look at the magic man, and is he smiling? That is a man. That's not a diaper dandy. DeMarcus Cousins, there's the strength that Dick is talking about. He's off to a good start, and so are the Cats. They lead by six. How you now they've got him on Liggins instead of Wall. Wall's just going to throw it up to Cousins. You know what? I almost thought there was interference up there. I almost thought there was interference. His size inside is so close. But close. Take a look right here, Brad. Does he interfere up? No, that was legitimate. Good, good tip in. Now he's going to have a big game here. Cousins is going to have one of those 25-point games. He had a career-high 27 the first time around. Yeah, can... Wall on the outside will take the three. Rimmed out, Muldrow rebound, but he threw it right to Patterson. Bad play right there by Muldrow. He gets the assist to Wall. Kentucky in the first game. Scoop shot, won't go. Wall will clear it. Here he comes. One on three. Look at that speed. He goes coast to coast, baby. Down with a great size. Here comes the shot shortly. Through people. No, he got the pass to Mogro and it had a block by Patterson. What a great creative pass he made right there. Very innovative, very creative. Just under eight minutes remaining. First half. Kentucky maintains a six-point advantage. Fifth South Carolina turnover. Bledsoe takes the short jumper on the baseline. Orton up and under. He goes the offensive glass. They dominating second chance points. Last Kentucky. It's like a wet bar of soap right now out there. And Patterson knocks it out. Here comes Wall. One on one with Downey. Downey's got to let him go. Ross. Really Ross blocked the shot, but Liggins was there to clean up. Okay, Wall really gets to the rack. Liggins gets the deuce. Wall is going to really excel in the NBA 24 second clock. Until Mr. Patterson said, Thou shalt not bring it in thy lane. And then Wall went up. Down he had to let him go. Rayleigh Ross got a piece of the ball, but it was... We've talked about it before with Kentucky facing his own, but they actually have as good a statistics against his own as they do the man-to-man. Bledsoe -man. off the glass. That was a nice shot. Right off the glass, got into the gap and seen. 
a joke. Steele had his teammates been able to come up with it. Stead Wall in the lane. Patterson, another loose ball for Patrick Patterson. Tell you what, they're doing anything. Right on a lob pass, you gotta love that. Tell you, Wall is really frustrated. Downey had him swatted out of the air. Oh, by Darius. No, here we now go. it's Wall. Here we go. He won't miss a shot. Little Jam City. He'll be in a dunking contest. Watch out, Nate Robinson. Here comes John Wall in the NBA next year. Here's Patrick Patterson. Works the lane up and under with a left hand. Nice what move. What a terrific move. Great footwork inside. I think those two, as Wall and Cousins, are the best I've seen since Rose and Weber. There's one of them, Cousins, with a chance for a three-point play. And have some fun and play like their hair's on fire right now. I mean, that's they have nothing to lose. See, I never have to worry about my hair on fire. <laughs> Another team to watch, Kansas State. They got definite Final Four potential. Here's Wall trying to go over the freshman and does. Showing his post up ability. Ladies and gentlemen, Irvin Magic Johnson. While we were away, the famous get to make the Y at the end of Kentucky. And this guy did it pretty well. And a little John Wall dance to boot. <laughs> Ever the showman, Irvin Magic Johnson. Wants the ball late. He wants the ball late on offense. He always knows how to make the right play at the right time. And then on defense against Vanderbilt on Saturday. But I hope we get something like that. Partner, thanks for being with us. Thank hey, you. Thanks a lot. I want to really thank you for deciding to come to introduce Mr. Izzo at our big gala. Well, you know that's my job. Whoa, Patterson missed the jam. Making him play a little half-court basketball instead of getting him up and down the oh. court. Somehow Cousins one-handed it to Patterson. Saved it on the baseline. Cousins got to do his freeze against that 2-3 zone. They got a legitimate shot to win. If they don't, it could be a long night because the size inside advantage goes to see. Darius Miller, nice move in the lane. His face. I guess if I was that good, I'd enjoy playing too. <laughs> Patterson, hook shot from the free throw line. And it's a chance for a three-point play. He's one of the field goal percentage leaders in America. Great touch. NBA player. As Magic said, they got three legitimate first-round picks. Downey, he's not going to be afraid to shoot. Patterson pulls it down. Here comes Bledsoe with Wall on his right. He'll take it all the way himself. I mean, that's a poor move there. Coast to coast. Very strong physically. Good timeout by Darren Hall. Kentucky plays those spurts, Brad. Yeah, they those do. spurt touches inside the Cousins. He has such an advantage with his body and strength. Bledsoe, just a layup. Well, you're talking about finding a seam in the zone. That was a hole in the yeah. zone. For Devin feel, Downey. I got a feeling he's earning the scholarship. I think he is. So is this guy. That's a man. That's a man. Playing with boys at times. He's a man. Physical, strong. This diaper dandy is They come with three the guys, and he gets through it and throws it up for Orton. What a great job by Wall. Splits the trap, flips it up. I think Orton's going to be very good, man. I really do. Every second of it. Look at Wall. Threw splits a the trap. triple team and then lobs it up for Orton. There's no way. Bobby hit me with his left arm and said, how would you like to coach him and get yeah. up to speed? Oh, yeah. oh, Patrick Patterson, an offensive rebound off a missed free throw, and then just throws it down. Extends it through three P's, points, baby, points. Think about that. That was an offensive rebound off a missed free throw. He had to come around the lane to even get close. They say Curly Neal, but we had the same team. <laughs> Patterson, up, up. How good is he been good tonight or what? He's been Rayleigh really Ross, he can't find it inside or outside right now. And now it's Bledsoe's turn in the open floor. Kentucky Wildcats just keep marching on. 27 and 1, baby. What would give it up to see Kentucky and Kansas hook up? Thank you still Patterson. find a way to get in for free. <laughs> I might be able to. I know a few people. <laughs> and those blitz over the little jam. You'd have your people call their... As good as she is, she's intellectual too. Long ball by Leggins. Just 
to add a little bit to the finish. It's down here. Final shot, and they're going to wave it off by Riley Ross. Well, my friend, Kentucky did what they had to do on their home floor, came back, and ended that three-game losing streak to South Carolina. And they get some payback for what happened three weeks ago at Colonial Life Arena. And they did it with ease. Coming up next, don't forget, we've got Santa Clara and Gonzaga. Final score here, 82-61. That's going to wrap it up. Predict Vital and our entire ESPN crew.